Hello, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome to the channel, The Loquacious One. And today I am showing you uh, things that I use to make my apple cider vinegar drink. And it is a variation of, I don't have one particular formula. I mix it up. Again, I'm gonna make this disclaimer. I am not a medical practitioner, a dietitian, bariatric specialist. This is something simply that I do to aid and assist for better health and well-being. Again, I don't believe that apple cider vinegar drinks will make you lose a tremendous amount of weight in a short period of time, as people are toting. I think you will over time because it does suppress the appetite somewhat. But again, uh, weight loss comes with caloric, uh, caloric decrease and exercise and time. You want to lose the fat and not the muscle, so you want to do it slowly. Ideally, at one to two pounds a week, we want to be healthy. And we have to have our protein increase because we don't want to have hanging and sagging skin. Okay, uh, just to welcome you if you're a new viewer, thank you for tuning in. And my return subscribers, thank you for the support. One of the first things I got, I got these purple cups and they're clear see-through. I got them because they're fun because I always get purple. That's my color for my uh, food journey. I drink my tea out of this glass teacup. Because I, I do do herbal teas, not with sugar and not with honey. And I actually drink my apple, ooh, excuse me, apple cider vinegar drink out of this. It's made to be a beer stein, but it's big enough and it's glass. So, and the drink looks pretty when I put lemon slices and citrus slices and fruit in there. And I got my purple measuring cup. I got, the, all these came from Dollar Tree. And this came from uh, Family Dollar. And it's just purple, but it's a light purple. And that's what I used to measure out the water. My water comes from Dollar Tree or wherever I buy water on sale. To me, it really doesn't matter. I just don't use distilled water because it's devoid of minerals. I prefer uh, Pellegrino or Icelandic sometime in place of this. But water just do. It's filtered. That's all that's important. And I don't have brags at the time but this is a brand that's very similar it's organic it has the mother in it the mother contains the enzyme and vitamins that you need is usda organic certified unfiltered unpasteurized and raw if you look it's a murky color but don't be alarmed by that it's supposed to be because it's rich in nutrients and look at right there that's where all the goodness is right there so make sure you shake this really well before you use it okay that's the only thing you have to do with that okay but they do have other brands i know heinz has a brand with the mother too so check if you just work it on a budget and you can't afford brags they do have in grocery stores and health food stores less expensive brands if that's a concern and catch the sales the next thing i use is lemon juice this is 100 uh, percent juice but it's from concentrate the Riverton Orchard, I got this from Dollar Tree because I'm not going to squeeze lemon. A better choice would be organic lemons or organic lemon juice from the health food store. But I didn't get that. Again, I'm working on a budget. But lemon juice or lime juice will work equally as well. And sometimes if you want to switch it up, if you like grapefruit juice, I'm not a grape juice fan, uh, fan you can use grapefruit juice. Uh, and also from Dollar Tree, I got this crystallized lime. It's 12 packs in a bottle with zero, zero calories to flavor it up. So I got the true lime and the true lemon. So sometimes I put that in if I use something else, just depending on how I'm working it. And to switch it up or add a little oomph, I put black cherry juice in there. It's really good for me because I suffer from arthritis or if someone in my family who suffers from gout, I'll throw some of this in there. This is from Concentrate, but it has no sugar in it. And what else does it have? It has no sugar sweeteners um, or colors added. No preservatives and very low in sodium. So that's good enough. And again, I'm working with a budget, and that's a good product. And for cranberry juice, this is not from Concentrate. 100% uh, juice. And it's no artificial ingredients, no colors or flavors or preservatives or sugar added. This is what you want. It's very good for the urinary tract, sit, urinary tract system as well as other things. Again, I am not here to just do a uh, expertise on the benefits of everything. But let you know what I use and why I use it. For cinnamon, I use that. 
I use organic only. I use Ceylon, C-E-Y-L-O-N. I don't use the kind that comes out the grocery store, Cassia, because it's a poor quality. This is non-GMO, non-E-T-O, and it's not irradiated. It's very good for you. Read up on this if you're interested in the benefit. But uh, cinnamon is good for the health because it's anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and um, it regulates blood sugar, among other things. So check that out. Do the research on the folks. And for the Dollar Tree, I just got some cayenne pepper. And I just put a pinch in here because this fire up that metabolism and help get your metabolism going and burn it a little bit better. And next we're going to do the sweeteners of choice. I don't use sugar in the raw in this. Put that over there. But if you're inclined to use it, by all means, go ahead. Uh, the things that I use, sometimes I use stevia. You can do this in liquid or powder form. And then this one I simply got from Family Dollar. But this is um, a generic brand of Truvia. So if you want to get the Truvia and your budget allows, get the Truvia. If that's what you know that you can use, I'm not recommending, I'm just saying my sugar, my sweetener of choice is, uh, is Zelotol and it's a natural sugar. It doesn't have an aftertaste and I get this from the health food store and it's low on the glycemic scale, which is why I get it. Okay, you can also use pure uh, maple syrup, not, the, maple, not the, sh the syrup that comes in the bottle that you put on pancakes. Pure maple sh sugar, make sure it says that. You can also use honey. I'm not a honey fan. And this is Maruka honey. I'm real funny about my honeys. <laughs> but uh, notwithstanding, um, you can do, a, like I said, lemon juice, grapefruit juice, lime juice. I have black cherry juice, cranberry juice. Oh, yeah, one more that I left out, beet juice. I, sometimes I put beet juice in there. And also beet juice has natural sugars in it. I throw some cinnamon. I throw some cayenne pepper and something else that I don't have here but I put in is a fresh piece of ginger. I grate a, a fresh little pinch of it along with my water. I put the ice in. I fill the ice halfway in, put water in, then I put my little spices in and then I start adding my juices. I mean there's just a ton of ways. Do the research. Again, I drink this with a straw because it's very acidic because of the citrus and the vinegars. And I don't want to harm my teeth and nor do you. So again, this is the loquacious one wishing you good optimum health. Folks, do the research. Take responsibility for yourself and well-being. Visit the doctor. Be honest with him. Tell him what it is that you're planning to do. What you take via supplements, exercise or uh, dietary. This is the Quacious One. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, thumbs up this video, leave all questions and concerns down below. Bye-bye.